Boom, short left hook. Boom, short left hook. Body shot. All right, this is my first run at Undisputed, the boxing game, the latest boxing game. And as you can see, I'm already slugging it with Canelo Alvarez. And my first impressions on the game is it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It was really tough beating Canelo Alvarez. This is the normal difficulty. Um, first hour of me playing the game. Um, now, I played the beta on PC a little while back, and it was, just, it was just trash. But this is much, much, much improvement since those beta days. And there's a lot to this game. Um, and as you can see, me and Canelo is just kind of slugging it out. And what I've learned real fast is that you got to learn your fighter's distance, his range. Um... First few tries, Canelo was kind of catching me. I was catching him. Punches getting smothered. Um, all that type of stuff. You got to really find your range. And you got to... Um, another thing I noticed, that punches will whiff. So if you both throwing the same type of punch, and it, you, you, it'll go right around each other. So, like, yeah, there's it's not like Fight Night or Knockout Kings where you can just press buttons and punches will land if you're throwing them. Nah, these punches will not land. You got to be pretty precise on your, your punch output. And I'm still trying to get used to the controls and how to block and dodge and everything like that. It's a lot of little nuances to this game that, that they probably learn over time. But once I'm ready to get online, it's on like popcorn. And of course, Terrence Crawford's outboxing Canelo Alvarez. Certain fighters, um, fighters like Crawford who can fight both stances, he don't have any penalties when he switches stance. He can switch stance freely, and I was kind of speeding through all that to, for the video purposes, right? You could also, uh, I'm not sure if every fighter can do it, but the fighters that I selected, Crawford, Ali, um, you press up on the D-pad, they can switch to more of an elusive stance, elusive style. Then you press it again, you'll get back to their more normal stance. Well, as you can see here, I'm starting to really put them together. Um, find my range. And the punches, when you land it, it, it's satisfying. It's very satisfying when you land a good shot. Because it's not easy to land a good shot in this game. I'm not even going to lie. It's not easy to land that clean shot. So when you do land it, it's like, yeah. Everybody got different punches. Not everybody punches the same. Um, some guys are better at certain punches than others. Some guys may have a stronger jab, better jab. Some guys may have better uppercut. Some guys' left hand may be stronger than their right hand. All those details are implemented into this game. As you can see, I switched back to the orthodox stance. But I really figured it out. Uh, throughout the fight, I really figured it out how to really get can get Canelo Alvarez. Um, you got to keep him at a distance because at a certain range, Canelo Alvarez will piece you to pieces. But if you can keep him at the end of the jab, launch some combinations, throw the uppercut, um, I, I found a lot of success doing that. Boom, there we go. Right hook. He tried to push me off of him. Throwing the haymakers now. Uh, trying to hurt him. And when you get them hurt, your stamina is unlimited for a brief moment. So you can kind of go in on them. But you also got to be careful. See, I'm trying to put him down. But he got a strong guard. As we know, Canelo Alvarez is a very durable, durable fighter. And the funny thing is, Crawford's rated higher than Canelo Alvarez. Even though Canelo's on the front cover of the game. I guess since he's the face of boxing, they got to put the face of boxing in the game. Um, but Crawford has a higher rating than Canelo Alvarez. And if you pre-ordered the game, you get the 64, 1964 version of Ali, the 2009 version of Tyson Fury, the, two the, the 2011 version of Canelo Alvarez.
I didn't really necessarily have time to really hop online and really get things going online yet. Um, so later on, soon I'm going to have to do some online videos and challenge some of these other YouTubers, man. I'm sure most of you guys who are boxing fans, who are slash gamers, or if you're not even a gamer, you're likely going to pick up this game. And I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend it. If you're a boxing fan, I recommend picking up this game 100%. Um, one thing I don't like, and it's not because of the game, it's because of certain fighters. You scroll it through all the characters, the fighters, and you looking for guys like Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia got removed from the game. But you looking for guys like Shakur Stevenson. You're looking for guys like Javante Tank Davis. Jerron Boots in. It's just like, where are these guys at in this game? Why are you guys not in this video game? Did you not get the memo? Because I remember when I was younger, and, you know, back then we didn't have internet, so you didn't know who everybody was. But I learned who a lot of guys was due to playing boxing video games. I was familiar with their style, who they were, and everything else. Why? Because of a fucking video game. So those young guys, they, 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 they just don't get the memo. And I heard Devin Haney didn't want to be in the game. Why? Because he didn't want to be on the front. He wasn't. He wanted to be on the front cover of the game. And they wasn't necessarily having it. So, yeah, he said, nah, I'm not going to be in the game at all. I, I thought that was a, a, a big diva-like move from Devin Haney. Um it should be an athlete's dream to be featured in the video game. I think that's 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 some cool cool shit, especially a fighting game, a boxing game. And the fighters fight like how they fight. They look how they look. Um, yeah, and everything else, man. This game can only get better with the modern era of gaming with the updates and things of that nature. They're going to be on, um, um, having new fighters as the, as the weeks go, as the months go. There's going to be a new fighters to be unlocked. Hopefully, we get guys like Jerron Boots in the game. Um, and a lot of other guys that... There's this that's up and coming that's kind of missing. No Tiafimo Lopez. None of these guys. Subriel Matias. There's a lot of fighters that's missing. There's a lot of UK fighters on here. Um, a lot of old school fighters. Um, but there's a lot of fighters that's missing for sure. I don't believe I've seen Lennox Lewis. Um, there's, a, there's quite a few guys that's missing that they definitely should be in the game. Archer Betterbeef should be in the game. There's a lot of fighters that they missing. But as you can see here, me and Canelo still going to boom. I'm catching them with shots now. Mind you guys, it wasn't this easy my first couple of tries, right? I'll catch him with something. Then he'll eventually come back and then put me down or something, you know, or, or just a, it was just a sloppy situation. But now I kind of figured it out and I'm punching in between punches. I'm trying to slip. It's hard to slip. Um, but that's one thing you probably get better with over time. Slipping punches, um, punching then slipping. There's a lot of little things in this game that you can do rather than just pressing square, triangle, X, or circle. You can also use the analog to throw strikes as well. Um, I believe those come out a little smoother and probably a little bit more effectively than you just simply pressing the button. But you can see I'm just trying to work the jab, get some consistency going. Because really, Canelo Alvarez is tough as shit. Boom. Caught him with the uppercut. First impressions of the game, man. Very, very good game. Highly, highly recommend that any boxer fan... Um, pick up this title, pick up this game. This is a great game already. Um, I can already see the potential. Um, you're going to be sweating playing this because it's just really intense. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. Look at that. Caught him. Now I'm trying to finish him off. Uh, 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 put him down. That's right. Canelo Alvarez got put down for the first time in his virtual career. Bam. Boom. Trust me, it was not as easy as it looks to get him up out of there. And with Canelo Alvarez being the face of the game, you best believe he's one of the better fighters in the game. And I believe I've seen the highest rating I saw was from Muhammad Ali. Um, he had the highest rating of 93. I believe Roy Jones was at 92 at a certain weight class. Oh, I caught him again. Boom, bam, body shot. Hurt him to the body. Oh, he's hurt. 
Boom. Short left hook. Boom. Short left hook. Body shot. Put them down to the ground. I definitely recommend you guys pick up this game. Excellent game. We're going to be having battles on the channel. Um, be ready for all the smoke because I'm going to be bringing it. Canelo Alvarez, he won't be making the 10 count. It's over with. Lay back down. Good night. Now, I would like to see Canelo Alvarez face Terrence Bud Crawford in real life. But, yeah, you guys, that's the video. That's my first impression of Undisputed.